Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what blessings, abundance, and manifestations are coming your way, as well as what advice does your higher self, your subconscious mind, your spirit guides, your angels, whatever you believe in, whatever you resonate with, have to say to you, okay? So this is gonna be a really positive video. You're gonna be hearing a lot of good things about yourself and good things about what is coming into your life, okay? So um, yeah, let's go ahead and shuffle the cards to see what is going on. I'm gonna start off your reading by picking cards from the Numinous deck, so yeah. Um, the first card we have here is Intimacy. Wow, Eighth House. Um, this is about investments, Ooh, intensity, contracts. I feel like you're going to be investing into something that is going to pay off long term. I'm seeing like generational wealth. The Eighth House does have to do with generational wealth. Um, and I don't know why I said that twice. Yeah, but like you receiving so much money so much money, so much abundance that like you're going to be set for life. I, I'm, I kept hearing the words like you're set. Good job. Congratulations. I expect a lot of people to congratulate you on something that you're going to be signing. I'm seeing something about maybe investing in real estate or making some really lucrative investment that is going to be paying off in the long run, in the long term here. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing something about, um, wow, okay. This says like mysteries, obsessions, kundalini energy. Like I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be going through some, you are already going through some kind of spiritual awakening, but you're going to awaken to an even deeper level. You're taking that next step, but you're ascending in so many different ways. Okay. If that's a little bit too woo woo for, for you, just think of this as like, you know, a mindset realignment. You're going to be aligning your mindset with what it is that you really want. Okay. Yeah. And we also got here. Um, okay. So this says intimacy. I feel like for a lot of you, if you're in relationships, you're going to be finding ways to get closer to your partner. Okay. You're going to be increasing your um, intimacy with partners or even with friends. Like you're going to be forming a deeper bond, maybe having like deeper conversations. Okay. We also got the second house. I was literally just thinking about the second house. Okay. Again, I'm seeing like, you know, more assets coming in a lot more money money coming in a lot more money than you know you know what to do with and you're gonna be like what do I do with all this money because I feel like it's gonna be more than you've ever seen so do expect an increase in your bank account okay um yeah this also says material world possessions finance talent you're really gonna be cultivating your talent and um really reaching your full potential Okay, so that's really exciting. I'm also seeing something about credit score, like your credit score could be increasing. This says wardrobe, maybe you could be getting a new wardrobe. I am seeing, you know, I am filming this like when it's in like March. So yeah, wait, it's already spring. What the heck? Wow. Yeah, the, the spring equinox. So I, I do feel like for a lot of you, um, you are going to be changing up your wardrobe, your style, maybe getting a haircut, changing your hair color. Um, trying out different makeup, different different looks, different beard styles, what have you. Um, yeah, but this also says like security. I feel like a lot of you are manifesting security into your life, um, especially financially, but also emotionally. Maybe if you haven't felt like emotionally secure in relationships, you're going to be meeting someone with whom you do feel that way, or maybe even reconnecting with someone that you had a really deep connection with, and you're going to finally feel secure in that relationship if you are you know, manifesting a person. Yeah, we also got ascended outlook, something about your outlook changing for the better. I'm seeing a Ending, okay, like you're going to be a new version of yourself. You're going to be you 2.0. You're going to completely get rid of anything from the past that doesn't serve you. Anything that is not in alignment with abundance or whatever it is that you want. Okay, I'm seeing extreme change, extreme transformation. You're going to be thinking differently. I feel like um, something happened or something is going to happen in your life that is going to make you manifest on a deeper level than before. Something about, you know, shifting to a higher level of consciousness, really focusing on the quantum realm. I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be reading up about parallel realities neuroscience okay you're going to be um, educating yourself in ways that you never have before or maybe you have but it's like maybe you're going to be continuing to do those things that you um, used to do I'm seeing like finishing projects that you could have kind of left incomplete yeah um, we also got Uranus so revolution yeah oh my gosh okay I think Pluto just moved into Aquarius or something, if I'm not wrong, but this is a timeless reading, so I'm not going to talk too much about, like, astrological events, but I am definitely seeing a revolution, okay? I'm seeing, like, mental revolution, because Aquarius does have to do with the mind. Like I said, you're going to be changing your mindset and manifesting everything you want, and it's going to come to you all at once. This also does have to do with, like, power shifts, power balances. For a lot of you, maybe you used to give power to things outside of you, blame external circumstances. You're going to be taking that power back okay this is all about a power shift but also internally sometimes this does have to do with physical revolutions uh there's a lot going on in paris you know revolutions and apparently the last time pluto switched signs um or was in aquarius or something the the french revolution um happened to like you know the the coup 
oh, I can't say this, C-O-U-P, de Etat, yeah, um, if you know, you know. Yeah, I, I definitely got to br uh, brush up on my astrological forecast and history, but I am seeing like internal revolution that's going to get you what you want, okay, so um, yeah. Uh, this also says brainstorming breakthroughs, like you're going to be having breakthroughs on something that you've been kind of stuck on. Like, for example, if you're into coding or programming, maybe you're going to find a solution to fixing that bug. OK, I am definitely seeing um, innovation. Wow, like you're going to be super innovative, super creative. OK, I feel like your brain's going to work in like different ways, like you're going to be using like more and more percentage of your brain. I, I believe I read somewhere that we only use like 10 percent of our brain. I don't know if that's completely accurate, but um, also like, you know, science is we're always evolving and it's like, you know, there's certain things that maybe science can't prove just yet, but there's always more to learn. So keep educating yourself, keep growing. OK, um, it's really interesting because I thought of quantum entanglement and that's something spiritual people have known for a while. And it's like spirituality is catching up to science. So um, I'm seeing that for a lot of you, like, you know, the things that you believe in that could be a little bit woo woo are gonna you're gonna your mind's gonna prove that to you and you're gonna be like um you know getting all your manifestations all at once if there's like certain signs that you look for uh yeah you're just gonna be elevating and ascending that that's that's really what I mean to say here, but I am seeing something about brainstorming creativity. Okay, you unlocking um, creativity, you you know finding solutions to your problems, you being the solution to your problem, you realizing that it is you that's always been the solution to your problem. You are the panacea. P A N A C E A. I'm not. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I, I saw that on the dictionary word of the day, and I was like, wait, what does this mean? It kind of reminded me of like Pangea. It, yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh this is exactly what I needed. So it's like you're going to be finding the solutions to your problems by channeling your infinite intelligence, okay? You're going to be like um, thinking in ways you never have before. You're going to be elevating, escalating, ascending, okay? So don't be afraid of that. I feel like you're going to be, you're unlocking a new level of life that's super duper exciting. Yeah, I love this. I love anything Aquarius, Uranus related. It's such an underrated planet. You know, we always hear about like Mercury, like Mercury in retrograde, Jupiter, Saturn, but like what about Uranus? I wish this was talked more about in astrology. Yeah, but also freedom, like freedom from the past, freedom from certain things that don't serve you, okay? I'm even seeing something about a new job, new position, new role, you getting the recognition that you deserve, okay? I'm seeing, again, a lot of abundance, you getting money, you getting like tenure or something, or like um, stock, stock options, yeah. RSUs or something, sorry, my voice just cracked. Yeah, but a lot of really positive things coming your way for sure. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading right here. I really, really hope this helped. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have for you in your reality. I do want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching, and I also custom make subliminal. So if you are interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you will find my website. You can sign up for those services through there. And yeah, I will go ahead and end the reading right here for real. Thank you so much. Love and light.